I'm Andy Glatfelter. I'm the school principal here at the Fulton and Allsbury Academy of Arts and Engineering. Fulton and Allsbury is named for two local pilot pioneers, Fitz Fulton and Mike Allsbury. Fitz Fulton flew for the Air Force for 20 years and then for NASA for 23 years with an amazing career that covered everything from the shuttle carrier aircraft to the SR-71 Blackbird doing a lot of test flight at Edwards. And Mike Allsbury flew for Skilled Composites where he flew a number of different aircraft, including the spaceship, Spaceship Two. Uh, he did some work also with um, White Knight Two. And he was um, killed in the crash of uh, Spaceship Two. And so our name honors him and honors Fitz Fulton. So we opened in 2016 as a combination of two schools that had started as academies in Lancaster back in 2011. Uh, Discovery had an academy and Lincoln Elementary had an academy. They were brought together in 2016 to create a new school, Fulton and Allsbury Academy. I think that what we do is create excitement about engineering and art. We live in the aerospace valley and so there are a lot of high paying, exciting jobs involved in aerospace and so I think part of our mission is to prepare our students for success with jobs that are readily available, that are nearby, in an area where they've grown up. We also connect with the high school district, preparing students in middle school for opportunities that the high school district offers, like the Biomedical Sciences Academy, Lancaster High School's Multimedia and Engineering Academy. So there are a lot of opportunities that our students have in terms of the years out and for their career. We offer art and engineering to all students. We don't call them electives, we just call them their classes because by choosing to come to Fulton and Allsbury, Students take both classes. Engineering gives students really a background in how to think and the engineering design process, how something isn't done when it's done for the first time, how there's an iterative process of prototyping, trying things out about design. It teaches students a lot about how their dreams about what they can do for the future, how they can get skills for those uh, today. And um, the art class also helps them to become confident producers of art. So we learn a little bit about art history a little bit about artists, but the main idea is that we want to teach the techniques that make students feel successful in creating art for themselves. When we opened in 2016, we had a robotics team that uh, went to the state competition and uh, won the state competition and then went to world competition. And our team captain from that year, Valerie Castillo, got connected with Mythbusters and ended up filming a season of Mythbusters with Adam Savage. So the principles that she learned as a, they called her a roboticist at Fulton and Allsbury, led to some really amazing opportunities later. I think one of the amazing things that our teachers do is to take the curriculum and take it to the next level. For example, in the engineering class, students are learning how to do 3D modeling. They're creating 3D models of little toys for the class. What our teachers decided to do was to bring in an expert on uh, disabilities from within our district to speak to all of our seventh graders about the kinds of assistive technology that can be used to improve quality of life for children in our district. For example, if a couple of our seventh grade girls built a device, uh, a cylinder that could accept a plastic fork or spoon, and this could be tied to the forearm of a girl who doesn't have uh, fine motor coordination. And so this could be used potentially to feed herself. So the idea is not just about accomplishing a task, but accomplishing a task for a purpose. And it becomes more than a grade. It becomes something that's good for people. So I think that speaks to our uh, core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. One of the other projects that our seventh grade team worked on was creating a Medal of Honor model for Edwards Air Force Base. So a call was put out to high schools and um, our school was the only middle school that got involved in this, but they wanted to put the Medal of Honor in front of the new museum at Edwards Air Force Base. We ended up winning the contest, so our design will eventually be used to um, welcome guests and we'll have the plaques for the Medal of Honor uh, on it when the museum is built. We have a couple of really great places for students to go before school and at lunchtime. Our library and our makerspace. I got an email from the Air Force Research Lab asking if we could use $50,000 to build a makerspace and yes we did. Uh, there is a space in there where kids can go in to do coding, they can program robots, they can do 3D printing. We do it within um, a lot of safety parameters too, making sure students are 
taking advantage of the tools and using it safely, they can also come in to the library right here and pick out a book. Our librarian, Mrs. Von Der Reith, worked with the Carson Scholars Fund to get a $17,000 donation where we have cafe tables and students say it feels like a Starbucks in here. Distance learning has been difficult. I think that we may have been a little bit more prepared than most schools since we had been doing so much digitally already. So one of the ways that teachers have uh, tried to get around that is by being as hands-on as they can even at home. For example, today students are dissecting sheep brains at home. Our sixth grade teachers decided that they would send home sheep brains that parents picked up at the office along with dissection kits and um, they're making it happen. To apply to Fulton and Alsbury, parents can go to the website fultonandalsbury.org and click on the Apply tab. There's a description about what we do, what we offer, what we don't, and how to apply.